I never thought I'd get this far, let's face it, I'm no TV star. But now I'm in the final three, unless you're a double base, eliminate me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, I can't believe it! I did it! The final three! I'm sorry that I didn't get my entry out last week, but uh, yeah, I'm good. This is the last challenge I have to win before the finale, so let's make it count. For my final immunity challenge, I have to create a concept for my own challenge. In my CTC career, I've competed in a total of 24 challenges, and I've won 17 of those challenges. If anyone should be knowledgeable on CTC challenge structure, I guess it should be me. In CTC6, Teabag, may Jamrod rest his soul, won the final immunity challenge with a simple idea that had lots of opportunity for creative input from contestants. With that in mind, I've decided to make my challenge idea a foot race. I know, it's the most basic idea in the books, right? For my challenge, the contestants will have to race around the CTC island, starting from the top of the cliff and ending in the same place. The challenge will begin with a 30 minute preparation period, where the contestants can use the resources provided to them to plan and prepare for the race. They can use this time to build makeshift vehicles, weapons, defenses, and gear to help them later in the challenge. Or even just to get their bearings of the land using the view from the cliff to plan the best possible route through the course. To help the contestants find their way during the race, Red ribbons will be laid out across the island to create an actual race course. These ribbons mark the boundary of the challenge zone. Exiting the challenge zone will result in a contestant being disqualified. There's quite a generous amount of space, it's just to make sure that nobody gets confused or tries to cut corners while participating in the race. The contestants are also not allowed to break or move the ribbons, otherwise they'll be disqualified. I know you've heard me mention it a million times already, but for those who don't know, the CTC island has a few very important natural locations. Those being the cliff, the forest, the lake, the plains, and the beach. Due to each area's unique terrain and landscape, the contestants will have to plan carefully and think of the fastest possible ways to cross each section. Rushing down the hill, navigating the forest, swimming across the lake, sprinting through the plains, and climbing up the cliff. In each of these locations, including the very beginning of the race, there's a checkpoint. At these checkpoints will be a small pile of junk. The contestants can use the junk however they please, whether to build with it or use it as a weapon, it's completely up to them, but obviously it's a pile of junk. The contestants won't find anything too crazy in there. As well as the junk piles, the contestants are able to use any natural resources they find within the challenge zone to aid them and hinder the others as well. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention, this challenge is not an individual challenge. Instead, this challenge would take place during the team stage, preferably between teams of the same or similar size. To keep things fair, but realistically, I don't think it really matters. The first team to get all of their players to finish the course wins immunity. For a player to have officially completed the race, they must stay within the boundaries and reach every checkpoint, crossing each natural obstacle. Because of the fact that this challenge is done in teams, it adds a new layer of strategy to it. Not only will contestants have to plan how to better their own performance, they must also try to think of strategies that will assist as many of their teammates as possible, while also hindering the other team's players. Attacking other players is allowed, although players should be mindful of spending too much time fighting rather than racing. A player does not necessarily have to be the quickest on their team to win this challenge though. All that matters is that they can get all of their team to the finish before the other team does. To clarify, this challenge will be judged on several things that the contestants will have to present in their entries. Number one, their overall individual performance. While not all that matters, it is important that the contestant actually provides something of worth while participating in the challenge. Number two, their creativity of the use for their junk and the other natural resources found inside the race. Number three, their time management, as the players are gonna have to think of ideas that are not only effective, but time efficient too. This is a race, so if their creative ideas also waste time, they're nowhere near as useful. Number four, the methods they use to aid their teammates and the methods they use to harm the other members of the opposite team. And number five, the strategies they use to cross each unique section of terrain. The best entries for this challenge would include ways to complete each part of the race as well as possible. And I think that's it. I think I covered everything. This season has been an incredible experience for me, and I'm so grateful that I was able to play to begin with and get the opportunity to redeem myself. If I win this challenge and get to the final two, I guess I'll see you guys then. But if this is really where my story ends, then I just want to say thanks. And bye.